time to get to know our local golf professionals. Let's set the spotlight on rookie golf pro Carl Santos Ocampo. Let's hear from him how he started to get into the game and how he gets good to it. I started when I was six years old. Uh, my uncles and my aunts and my family, uh, we decided to go to the driving range. And um, the first driving range I went to was Villamore Golf Club. From then on, I just got hooked to the game. When I first started as a kid, I just loved whacking that ball over and over again and seeing it fly. Um, but overall, as I, as I grew up, I just really come to enjoy the challenge and it's always a learning experience. And um, you never can seem to get anything perfect in golf, but you just have to embrace it and love the challenge. And now, let's get to know his journey and how he began his career with ICTSI. When I graduated back in 2010 from Notre Dame, um, I was fortunate enough to be called by um, Coach Bong and Coach Nestor, the heads of the ICTSI amateur program. They told me to give it a shot here and play um, for the team. And I did that for a few months and enjoyed it and uh, eventually uh, moved up and turned pro in March. Listen closely as Carl shares his Golf 101 in preparing for his rounds. I think it's more on the mental side to prepare yourself for the travel. As a first year pro, um, I'm going always to new spots and new venues, so I really don't know what to expect. It's just about having fun, getting your game prepared, getting enough preparation on the practice tee and the practice screen, and knowing the course when, when it's time to tee it up. I think it's uh, driving the ball well and um, having a good short game. Although um, a lot of the good players, a lot of the players have the same, so it's just a matter of. Uh, I don't know. It's just a matter of matter of getting lucky and getting some good breaks. Yeah. Carl shares his most memorable golf experience as an amateur. I think it would have to be the uh, the U.S. Amateur back in 2008. I qualified for that for the first time, um, which was a feat in itself, and I was so happy. And to play at Pinehurst and make it to the round of 64 match play after two rounds, I made this uh, five-footer on hole number 18, um, the hole that Payne Stewart made his putt to win that last U.S. Open. And it was so memorable to me, and I had such a great experience playing the U.S. Amateur. Apart from his golfing skills, Carl reveals a little secret. I carry this, this coin that, as a marker which uh, I use all the time, I have to use it. It's, it. It was a graduation present from the school. I, I treat it as my lucky coin. Pay attention as Carl imparts his views on golf. I think through golf you can learn a lot. Um, most importantly, as I, as I continue to grow up and develop, it's, uh, it's just a matter of accepting and um, embracing the challenge. It's, uh, you can use that in any, any part of your life whether it's on and off the golf course, but, but through sports and through this game, um, that's certainly been the best thing I've learned from it. Carl shares his ultimate dream. I'd love to, um, you know, contend. This year, this year is a really good learning experience to, to play the PGT, and uh, uh, I hope to keep getting better and better, make it to the Asian Tour, and then play a few years there, maybe, maybe get better enough quickly that I can move on to the PGA Tour. So I just want to one day tee it up with Tiger Woods and all those guys in the future. I'm Carl Santos Ocampo and you're watching A Round of Golf.